These days, cord cutting has become much more popular. And that's because cable companies are charging more and more, giving you less and less, and packing channels together that you don't really want. You might want one channel, and they bundle it together with a bunch of other ones and charge a fortune for this particular package. So a lot of people have switched to watching their TV online. Now, there's several ways you can do that. You can subscribe to something like Hulu if you're in the United States. And there's other alternatives too, like you can watch on Netflix, certain TV programs. But you can also watch TV programs for free using some resources online. And another thing I should point out is that you likely have local channels where you are if you live near a big center. And you can get a digital antenna and you just put it in your room and you can get the local channels. These are my local channels here. There's not very many. However, with these local channels, I see a lot of the shows I want to see and I get the sports that I want to see for the most part. But there's a lot of things missing off here too. And the good news is you can get them for free. Now, you need to keep in mind that this isn't exactly legal. So I don't really endorse this at all. Not that you care, nor should you. But you should make the decision on your own whether you want to go this route. All right, so let's get to it. These TV sites that I'm going to show you use a lot of ads to the point where it's really impossible to watch them unless you install an ad blocker. Now what you want to do is you want to be using either Firefox or Chrome because you can get the best ad block plugins on those. So right now I'm on Firefox and if I go to the add-on section and you can do that by clicking up in the menu in the top right and then you can go down here to add-ons and that's where I am here and you'll see I have one called ad block plus and that's the one you need so what we want to do is just go and get add-ons. Okay, now up in the search bar at the top here, type in ad block, hit the enter key, and then you'll see ad block plus here. So what you want to do is install that. And it will download it. And there it is. And there's some options here. And the defaults are really all you need here, but you can change any of this if you feel you need to. Okay, so now that you've enabled AdBlock, it's going to do its job for you, so you won't have to worry about ads popping up. So this is how you do it on Firefox. Let's go have a look at Chrome. Okay, so here we are in Chrome's and Settings. And then what you want to do is go to Extensions. Okay, and now you want to go to the web store here, Chrome Web Store. Okay, and then basically the same thing. You're going to search up here for AdBlock. Now let's look at AdBlock Plus. Sometimes it doesn't bring it up if you put the whole name in there. It doesn't in Firefox, but it might here. Now look down here, we have different versions of AdBlock Plus by different people or different companies. And the one you're going to want is the one by adblockplus.org. Okay, so add to Chrome. And click on the button up there so it'll go. Okay, and then it'll come up and you'll see that's installed here. So let's go back and look at our ad block. All right, it's popped a little thing up here for us that it's been installed. Okay, so there we are. So we're all set in Chrome. So whichever one you're going to use, you're all set in either one of them. I'm going to use Firefox for the rest of this because that's what I prefer to use, but I needed to show you how to do this in Chrome. Okay, so now it's time to go and see how you watch TV on the internet. Okay, I'm going to show you two different sites here that I use. This first site is called watch-tvseries.net, 
as you'll see up in the browser bar at the top here. And it's a, a really good site. It's a little bit slower to update than the next one I'm going to show you, but I like to use it. So you'll see the most recent things that have been put on it just show up in this window here, and you can go backwards in here and find what you're looking for. You also, on the right-hand side here, you have the most popular shows. And then up at the top, you have A to Z listings or index, a number sign here. And then if you roll down, then you can see all the different TV series that are on here in this manner. Okay, so as you can see, that's a lot of stuff. So you can go from beginning to end in most of these TV shows just by watching the series. For instance, The Big Bang Theory, if you were to go in here and you look we got season nine, episode 13 at this point, which is where it left off. But you can go right from season one, including the unaired pilot, which is much different than what they ended up being going forward, being there going forward. Okay, so as you see, there are all these TV seasons here. Now, to play one, you just pick whichever one you want. And the window comes up here eventually. Okay. I wouldn't use this one because it's got this search bar stuck on the top. So what you have up here are the different links to different sites. So let's click on number one. See if we get a better looking site here. Or better looking playback. Okay. So there it is. Now you can try and play them. Sometimes you'll get a bad one that won't play properly. It jitters or it pauses too much. Not very often, though. And there's always a player control in the different players where you can go full screen or detach or whatever. Usually it's down here. Okay, so that's it. Uh, you start this playing, and then you can just hit the enlarge to full screen here, and it'll take the full screen of your computer. So you can watch it full screen. Now, the next one I want to show you is called the Watch Series. TO. You can see up in the browser bar up here. Now sometimes they change their domain name and when they do that you'll see something like this announcement right here. So that's what it is right now. However, it could change at any time. Now this one I really like because just about everything you could think of is on here. For instance, yesterday the X-Files premiered, the new X-Files. So if I click on that we can see the episodes for the new X-Files here. So this is episode one, My Struggle. And when there's more episodes, you can go next and previous here to get to the one you want. So same type of thing. You have a list of links down here, but you have a lot more of them. So you click on Watch the Link until you find one that works. So every time I've tried it, the first one does. Just gives you a little bit of background down here. So click the play. It's going to redirect you somewhere else. It's going to make you wait for a few seconds. Now, normally an ad would appear here, but your ad block is taking care of that. Click continue. And here it is. Okay, so if we want to play this episode, we just click the play button here. Now over here, we have where we can change it to full screen. We have volume control here. Okay, so that's all there is to it. You just find the one you want and you pick you pick it and play it. Now let's just go back to the home page here and just look around for a little bit. So I have your latest popular episodes at the top here. And then down here you have what's coming up in the different days. So you usually have yesterday, today, and tomorrow down here and it shows you what's going to be posted. You know, the most popular shows right over here. And the newest episodes added down here. So it's a really well-organized site. All right, so that's it. You've now learned how you can watch the TV series you want to watch online for free.